Okay, in this video, we are going to link one of my registered domain names to my web hosting account. Now, we need to do this after we register our domain name because by default, GoDaddy parks your domain name after registering it. And what that means is whenever somebody goes to that domain name, they get a default GoDaddy parking page. I'll show you what one looks like. Now the domain name we're going to be working with in this video is AnchorWatCambodia.org, a domain name I picked up about a month ago, and now I'm ready to use it. And here's what a GoDaddy parked domain name page looks like. It's just a bunch of ads. But we want to point this to a new website. So the first step is we need to log into GoDaddy. And if you know me, you might recognize that I use RoboForm to save all my passwords and to avoid typing. Okay, so we're logged in, and I need to go to Domains, My Domains. Now here's a list of domain names I have registered. And there's the one I want to work with, AnchorWatCambodia.org. So let me click on this guy. Okay, so here's all the domain name information. Right here in the middle of the page, you see where it says name servers. These are the two default name servers. So we need to change those. And to do that, we click on this button right here, name servers. Okay, as you can see, uh, they are parked. Um, I'm not hosting my websites or any websites with GoDaddy so I don't want to select that option I want this last option here custom name servers and we just simply type in the name servers that were given to us by our web host typically when you sign up for web hosting they send you a, a welcome email or they send you some information about your account and that information usually contains the name servers. Bluehost. Whoops. Dot com. Okay, and if you're not sure, you can probably contact them, and they'll let you know. So I just click OK. And click OK again. Now the changes aren't instant, that's what that last message said. So if we go back to my domain name list, we'll see right here that it says pending update. And it usually takes about five minutes and then it'll say active. Once it's active, then the next step would be to log into my web host and add this domain name and we will cover that in the next video.